Why not a uh, cad yellow in all of its varieties? Everybody, uh, episode seven of Only Nans, Cad Yellow. Um, for years, I was like a snob about not using cadmiums on my palette because that's an impressionist palette, and I'm not an impressionist, and all of this like crap. Um, but then I started painting still lifes, and my God, you just sometimes need a more chromatic yellow. What are you gonna do? Um, Sorry, kitsch painters everywhere. We can't all paint everything with earth colors. Uh, so I use cad yellow when I got it. Um, I buy the Gamblin because it's cheap. Um, the stuff from Michael Hardy and I have used and it is really nice. Um, the binder is a little better. Uh, cadmiums are almost always really opaque. Uh, their tinting strength is pretty high. Not as high as, like, your Thalos, which just overwhelm everything, but pretty high. You don't need very much cad yellow to make anything pretty yellow. Um, they're light fast, they're good, whatever. They get the job done. Um, and, you know, I'll talk about cad red in the future, but uh, I do think it's worth noting after the Vermilion episode yesterday, you don't have to have Vermilion. It's just the most beautiful color on the planet, so... If you want the most beautiful color on the planet, then buy Vermilion. But you can totally get there with Cad Red. Um, there isn't really an equivalent in the yellows. There are a lot of yellows in the world, but in terms of like natural inorganics, yellow ochre is pretty much as chromatic as it gets. And uh, so there isn't like this really high-end, fancy, high chroma yellow that you can buy. So thank God they invented the cadmiums and we've got these, because I don't know how you paint a lemon without this. It could be done. You could kind of drop all the chroma so that your yellow ochre was the most chromatic thing and get it done that way, but I don't know. That just seems like a lot of work. So cad yellow, you okay. Um, it comes in different varieties. There's like a lemon yellow. Uh, cad yellow light, cad yellow medium, cad yellow dark, deep, whatever. Uh, the darker ones get more orangey, and the lighter ones get more yellowy. Um, so keep that in mind. I usually paint either with light or medium, um, because if I've got it out, if it's on my palette at all, then I'm having to grapple with something that's really yellow. So uh, it's not on my flesh palette. I don't paint people with it. It can be done. Um, but I, it's just my like upper level secret for when things are chromatic. Like if I wanted to paint this coffee can, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that without this. So, cad yellow, you're there when we need you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.